hey everyone welcome back and in this video let's just go ahead and build a simple react 18 app on codam playgrounds how you can start with react how you can work with react in this simple playground interface if you're new here make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon this is free of cost and helps the channel grow so i'm gonna go to playgrounds and i'm gonna choose react over here i'm gonna select react but you can observe that react in the code damn playground is not react 18 yet so let's upgrade that so i'm going to say my first react 18 project i'm going to click on create snippet once i do that it's going to boot me into this playground where i would be able to create a basic react app you will see we already have a basic react app but if we go to package.json you're going to see that we are actually at react 17.0.2 which is not good so let's go ahead and upgrade this i'm gonna kill the white server i'm gonna say yarn add react latest and react dom latest because remember that react and react dom have to be together in terms of uh, you know compatibility so now when you're going to do package.json you're going to see that you have react and react dom as version 18. now we can go ahead and say yarn dev to start our white server and there we go that's all you have to do to upgrade your React app to version 18 in a Codam playground. Let's now go ahead and take a look at how we should change our app so that it works in a React 18 fashion. So first things first, we're going to be removing this line and we're going to be changing this to the newer version. That is creating a root by saying react dom dot create root and then specifying the selector which we have over here. In this case, document.getElement by ID root. And then finally, we'll be able to say something like root.render, which renders our main app like this. Right? So this actually opts you into React 18's new features, new concurrent mode, and so on. So you need to make sure that if you're running a new project, you're not using the older syntax because if you're using something like this, you might as well be using React 17 only. So this gets us into true react 18 so yeah, i mean for the most part to understand or to actually get a difference between react 17 and 18 apps you'll have to build an app and you know maybe check performance maybe see where the concurrent rendering is happening but we can obviously use the newer hooks as well which are available to us for example if i just import use id from react you're gonna see that it will start working now because use ID is an actual hook provided by React. And I can say ID is use ID. And I can say something like my ID is ID. Now, obviously this is a random string at the moment, but this string over here will actually be consistent across client and server renders, right? So it does not really matter a lot at the moment because, you know, we are just running it on the client. But when you run it on servers, you're gonna see that this ID string over here stays consistent stays you know the same across client and server and that is because it uses a deterministic algorithm for the value you can see it stays r0 even if i keep on refreshing it colon r0 colon if i change the contents a little bit then you're gonna see that it starts changing a bit on refresh so most likely the algorithm depends on or you know defines this based on the type of content which we have I, I have not seen the algorithm yet but it seems like to make it deterministic it has to be based on some sort of content or some sort of tree structure which already exists so yep this is a basic very super basic example of a react 18 app excited for you guys to try out react 18 on code damn playgrounds try to build a project send me a link and i'll take a look that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching